Hi, this is Hilal. In this video, we will try to solve a question on finding the equilibrium quantity and price from the given demand function and cost function. The question is given demand function Q is equal to 50 minus 0.5 P where Q is the quantity and P is the price and cost function uh, which is C is equal to 50 plus 40 Q where C is the cost and Q is the quantity <coughs> or rather total cost is the C. Find equilibrium quantity and price. We have to find the equilibrium uh, quantity and price. First of all, we will write the given demand function. Since it is given in Q, we will solve it for P. So, we will form the inverse demand function and we will solve it for P. That is, our Q is given as Q is equal to 50 minus 0.5 P. So, we will um, solve it for the P. Now, this will become if I transpose this, that is, this will become Q minus uh, 50 is equal to minus 0.5 P. Simple. I have transposed this 50 on LHS. This becomes negative 50. Now, similarly, I can write this. That is, uh, I can write Q minus uh, 50. And I will divide it by this uh, minus 0 0.5 so i will divide it by this minus uh, 0 0.5 so this will become our uh, price function now this is here uh, uh, q divided by 0 0.5 this is here this will become now we know that uh, 0 0.5 is equal to 1 by 2 now minus 0 0.5 is equal to minus 2 then so this will become uh, so I will write Q divided by minus 1 by 2 uh, here minus uh, 50 uh, divided by minus 1 by 2 is equal to price. Now when transposing this will become uh, minus uh, 2Q this minus minus will become plus so we are with uh, 2 into 50 is 100 uh, is equal to price. Or our price function is equal to 100 minus 2q so we solved it for P here now we have to find the uh, total revenue because the equilibrium occurs where uh, marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost for that we need the marginal revenue for marginal revenue we need the total revenue therefore uh, total revenue is nothing but price times quantity. This is our price function. So we will write this price function in, uh, in place of P. So this is 100 minus 2Q and we will multiply it by this very Q, this Q. So our total revenue function becomes 100Q minus 2Q square, uh, which comes out to be our total revenue function. So I will rub this. Now we will find uh, the marginal revenue. Marginal revenue, as we know from the earlier videos, marginal revenue is the first derivative of total revenue with respect to the quantity. That is, d t or differentiating total revenue with respect to quantity. That is d q, which is equal to now the derivative of q is one. So this will become 100 into 1 is 100. So I will write here 100 uh, minus here the derivative of Q square is that is the derivative of Q square is uh, twice Q. This 2 becomes the coefficient and uh, exponent is uh, subtracted by minus 1. That is 2 minus 1 which is 1. So this will become 2Q and we have this very 2. Now 2 into 2 is 4. So I will write 2 into 2Q. 2 minus 1 which is uh, 100 minus 4 Q this is our marginal revenue function I hope I am making myself clear now coming to the cost uh, function our cost function is given as that is a uh, cost function is given as uh, 50 uh, plus 40 Q as I have told earlier that equilibrium occurs where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. We have found the marginal revenue that is 100 minus 4Q. Now we have to find the 
marginal cost but marginal cost uh, can be found only by taking the derivative of this uh, cost function that is marginal cost is the first derivative of this cost function del c with respect to quantity that means differentiating this uh, very function with respect to quantity gives us the marginal cost now the derivative of 50 a constant is 0 and the derivative of q is 1 this will become 0 plus 40 into q is 40 into 1 is 40 so our marginal cost is 40 now um, implies our mc is equal to 40 this is our marginal cost now in equilibrium as we know in equilibrium in equilibrium equilibrium marginal uh, revenue is equal to marginal cost this is the condition for equilibrium now our marginal revenue function is this very function and our marginal cost is this very function so equating them implies so i will write here implies uh, 100 minus 4q 100 minus 4q is equal to this very 40 the, this is equal to 40 because marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost we have equated uh, the marginal revenue function and marginal cost function now this will become now we will transpose this minus 4q on this and this 40 on lhs so this will become 100 minus 40 is equal to uh, 4q simple i transposed this minus q on rhs this will becomes plus 4q and transposed uh, uh, this very 4 40 on the lhs this becomes minus 40 now 100 minus 40 is 60 is equal to 4q implies our 4q is equal to 60 or q is equal to 60 divided by 4 which comes out to be 4 ones are 4 15s are so our equilibrium quantity is that is equilibrium quantity is 15 now we can find uh, the equilibrium price we just uh, plug the value of q is equal to 15 in the price function which is here so we put uh, insert the value of q is equal to 40 here so our p is equal to then p is equal to here it is 100 minus 2 into q 2 into equilibrium quantity which is 15 so this comes out to be 100 minus 2 15 r is 30 so this comes out to be 100 minus 30 uh, which comes out to be 70 implies our implies our equilibrium uh, price is equal to 70 so this is how we find the equilibrium quantity and uh, price when uh, when demand function and cost function is given